last night at around 11 o'clock. I got out of work and I got to the car to find out that my brake lights were on and they've been on since I got to work. Don't know what was going on. I checked up all, I checked all the lights, all the switches, everything, and everything was good. So I sat here and pondered for a bit and didn't know what was going on. Contrary to belief, just because you're Mexican doesn't know you know everything about cars. So I went home to Google what's going on and I couldn't find anything on my make and model of my car, which is a 2003 Hyundai Accent. And there was no videos, no information about what it could be. But I did find that there, it is a common issue with cars in general. It's a little pad that's behind the brake pad or the brake pedal that um, when you push the brake, it releases a little switch um, and it turns on the brake lights. But when you let go of the brakes, it pushes the switch and it turns off the brake lights. And it is called the brake light switch. And um, it is a comment that those break. Uh, so this morning I've been going around a different auto parts stores and I can't find it. This is the last stop. This is the last one. If, if I don't find it here, then I'm gonna have to go home and Danny rig this and go old school Mexican style and I'm gonna build something so I can use it uh, until I can find uh, uh, the part that I can. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna Danny rig this. So this is the last stop. And basically what it is, it's a little pad that breaks. I'm gonna show you right now. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it real good, but this is it. This little uh, brake pad and it's in little pieces you know so that's what I'm looking for um, this is my third and final stop uh, and while I don't find it here I'm just gonna go home and figure it out what, what I'm gonna do like I always do so didn't find it and that was the third strike so I'm out of here so now I'm gonna go home and uh, I'm gonna show you what it's done um, to Danny rig this thing and we're gonna go old school Mexican and we're gonna figure it out and wanna make something happen. So as promised, I'm doing this old school Mexican style. I actually Danny rigged from duct tape, Mexican's best friend, a little somewhat of a pad, so you can see. Um, and it's just a temporary fix until I get the part. So I'm gonna show you what what I mean about that little switch to see if you can see it. It's that little switch right there. You see how I'm pressing on the brake and it's moving. So I'm pressing and it's moving. That little <clears throat> button right there needs to be pushed in and out. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to get to fix but because I'm kind of a big big man in here I don't have a lot of room I'm gonna have to do this one-handed so I'm gonna show you the finished product I can't show you how to install it but I'm gonna show you the finished product so that's what needs to be replaced so I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing well I hope you can see it the little temporary solution is that little duct tape pad that I made so like I said, it's a temporary fix, not, not a permanent fix. And I hope you can see it because I'm only with one hand. I can't hold the camera and finish and do this. So I'm showing you the finished product, but like I said, it looks ugly, but it works. So it, it is a temporary solution until you get the actual part. And from Amazon, eBay, it doesn't matter. Um, get the part and then, uh, do the permanent solution all right so that's a little tight little spot to be working in 
That was a lot of work with one hand, but I did it. Um, I just showed you the um, the quick temporary Mexican fix until you get the real part. Uh, remember, this is a temporary fix. It's not a, a permanent solution because um, you can't. It, it's just until you get your parts. I order it online, Amazon, eBay, doesn't matter. Just get it and then put it on and have a permanent fix. So, with that said, also, this is a must for you to have in your tool box. Duct tape, a Mexican's best friend. Fixes a lot of issues and a lot of problems. Also, you does, as you've seen here in this video, temporary solutions. And, um, you know, also a good decorational piece. I like to decorate with it, and I'll show you down the line more about that but um, um comment below tell me what you think about this video if you found it informational cool if you didn't i hope it was funny and god bless